Welcome to our weekly grocery haul that I didn't think was too bad until I edited this video. So our budget usually for a family of four and we are all adults, two big adults and two young adults is $200 a week. I do a lot of markdown shopping. I try and stick to Coles for the flyby spends and Woolworths once a month for 10% off. So yeah, we'll see <laughs> how it all unraveled and came to be so first of all we started off i got uh two packs of red rolly red rock deli chips uh paid six dollars they're on special three dollars each but there was a promo to get a five dollar gift card back haven't got the gift card back yet so i've still claimed for the six dollars and then when the gift card comes it'll just get taken off of a future food shop Next, I went to Woolworths because I was chasing Markdown Milk and also I wanted to pick up a couple items for points boosters and I had an offer too for Booper. So I picked up two packets of Steakhouse chips. That was uh, one of the booster offers for those chips. Picked up some croissants because they were on clearance. My son really likes these, so that was really good. And then I picked up a bag of the Odd Bunch carrots and one of my carrots literally looks like the picture on the bag. It was so funny. Picked up a bag of these Thins chips because they were on Markdown. And if you see the vlog tomorrow, let me know if you can spot it on the shelf. <laughs> I was surprised to see it. Picked up this Violet Crumble Custard. This was delicious. I will be picking this up again if I ever find it that cheap for sure. Two lots of milk for $1.37. These get turned into chocolate milk or white sauce for lasagnas. They go very quickly. I got this daily juice, green juice marked down. Oh, this was delicious. My theory was that this is a good price for being a litre compared with the two litre bottle of straight apple juice that we get. So madness in my method as they say now i picked up some white vinegar some bicarb for some cleaning that we do two bags of rice and some corn flour because if i spent ten dollars or more on essentials products you can see the word essential next to the Woolworths sign oh and some penne pasta i got 150 bonus points back for being a Boopa member so I thought that was well worth it because they're pantry stable items anyway. And then I picked up this packet of um, foil containers because I want to be doing some meal prep stuff and things that I can just throw in the oven. So there I've spent $35.29. Next up I went to Coles because I was chasing some markdowns again. But also some days I just do things because it's habit. Um, yeah, and I like to look for markdowns. What can I say? I picked up two packs of these chicken sausages. One of them I'll probably turn into like a uh, curried sausage dish, and the other maybe some sausage rolls. I shall see. But I love sausages, so I was happy to pick them up. I got some shy sweet potatoes. I'm perfect. <laughs> Uh, March down probably not the best at markdown ever however for the weight I was really happy with it compared with like the four dollars fifty or whatever one kilo was um, so yeah it's always worth picking up anything on markdown if it's cheaper than the everyday shelf price I got this half leg roast of lamb for free because it scanned higher than the shelf price. The shelf price was $12 and this has $14 on the label. And also picked up my free roast chicken because I went Monday night to Coles for markdown hunting and they didn't have any and it was before 8pm and I was like, oh, could I just have a voucher for a hot chicken? She said, yep, sure. So I picked that up. We use it a lot for sandwiches. Uh, Tuesday night, I went to Woolworths just to uh, mark down shop and bargain hunt. I picked up this pecan uh, slice chocolate. It was $1.80 on clearance. So two packets of this chicken breast fillets. They're in the freezer somewhere. <laughs> I just threw them straight in there. I got this sourdough bread. I thought there was a bonus offer on it. Then I picked it up. I realized um, it had expired the day before. <laughs> Oh well, we enjoyed it. We cut it up for garlic bread and stuff like that. And these jumbo soft white rolls. My son really likes having uh, rolls like this that he can just pick up and eat as is. So it's totally worth buying them. And I got this sponge cake. So 
what you can do or what I'm going to do to make a Victorian sponge cake is the piece of sponge that's here as you can see I'm going to chop it in half and then I will make that as the cake rather than just putting cream between these two layers because I find it just too big which is probably what the shops just do but that's how I will do it and you'll probably see that in a vlog coming up soon of how we put everything together I've gone to Wool uh, Coles <laughs> after Woolworths, blah, 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 don't know where I am anymore, and I was so excited to pick up these three packets of potatoes, two kilo bags, for 30 cents each. I normally am not a fan of brushed potatoes, I just find them so messy, but for 30 cents for two kilos, so basically 15 cents for a kilo, I'm super happy with that, and I, yes, very grateful. And then I picked up two roast chooks because they were on clearance for $4.80 and we always need roast chicken in the house and I can also use the carcasses then to make a stock. So waste not what not. I picked up chocolate milk so it's $3.90 and at the time um, we'd already used most of the milk that I got earlier in the week for chocolate milk. And I figured this is all done for me, why not? And then I picked up four tins of these beetroot, 825 grams. They were a dollar each. So I thought, why not? Let's just grab them. So perfect. And the best before is they were ages away. So we will use them up well before then. Thursday is here, which means I get to do a markdown shopping at Foodland. It's one of my most favorite places to go markdown shopping and I get some a very good bargain. So I picked up four packets of these Savoy chips on clearance for $1.50. I thought that was an absolute bargain because this is a brand product. Not that I really care about that because to me a cracker is a cracker, but a packet of these crackers are $1.65 home brand. So that's where a markdown trumps home brand. Uh, three packets of these delight barbecue ch shapes things marked down to a dollar each and I picked up a box of tissues because the packet is a little bit damaged for a dollar fifty. I don't believe that our tissues ever go uh, out of date <laughs> but this is why I check the clearance rack. I found the most amazing things. A packet of Maltesers for two dollars. This is why I pretty much only ever buy chocolate when it is on clearance because um, I think the prices are crazy. And two packets of the thin hockey and noodles for $1.45 each. These are my son's favorites. So I'm happy to pick those up and I can cook them. And then he can have noodles sitting in the fridge for when he wants to reheat for lunch if I'm not here. Then I did the massive Woolworths haul that you would have seen already on the video. And that cost me a fair whack of money. And I kind of didn't put everything together in my head. <laughs> how I was traveling but also my theory was that that budget was kind of going to cover for July so we will see at the end of the July how we are traveling went to NQR and I picked up 10 of the unsalted butters because for 250 grams or $2.50 each and I picked up four packs of these fairy bread LCM type bars so we'll see how they go for home brand. I really like them actually, and they're a good thing to have in the pantry. Friday, I ended up going to Woolworths because I was looking for another bunch product thing. Oh, story of my life. Uh, I did manage to find some popcorn chicken type things marked down and some Kievs as well. So the price there on screen. And then I popped into Coles uh, again, chasing some markdowns. But I saw that they had this mince meat on sale for $5 each. And I wasn't going to get any because I'd already picked up the mince earlier in the week. But I saw that an offer popped up in my Flybys account that I got so many bonus points if I spent $40 or more and when I did the math it worked out that each packet would be $3.75 so I thought let's pick it up stockpile and then we will be covered for quite a while. I've also picked up this little haul from Ample Foodery so I think I showed you in the vlog that I'd got it but here it is on the bench so two packets of the red rock deli chips the bag of rings two packets of tubes and the four packets of the syrup as well so as you can see the price of what we have spent through the week <laughs> well over budget but if you kind of take out the big Woolworths spend we kind of then do come down 
to about where we should be and like I said we are now covered for a fair whack of July as far as some of the snacks and pantry go but I also purposely overspent a little bit to cover myself because school holidays are coming and I can stay home and just focus on cooking and meal planning and doing all the other stuff so thank you so much for joining me stay tuned for next week hopefully I can get it under control Thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.